Que paso, boxing fanaticos? This is the end of the do another boxing analysis. This analysis is a post fight analysis between Adonis Stevenson, Superman Stevenson, from Montreal, Canada, versus the Swiss guy from Sweden. Who else? Then Badu Jack, Jack the Ripper. Now, in great fight, they left a dazzling display. Uh, about counter punching, anything you want, using angles, using feints, uh, some good double jabs in there from uh, from both, uh, a lot of combination punching, especially in the middle to later rounds when stuff started to really pick up. Um, um, I would say Badu Jack definitely got down on the cards by at least five rounds in my book. He didn't really start picking up until round six, round seven, round eight, which I scored all those rounds for Badu Jack. Uh, first five rounds, it was a total domination to me from uh, Donna Stevenson. Uh, he was the ring general in there. He was the man you wanted to be in there, using a double jab, um, uh, just picking his shots well, walking up, walking his opponent down, and just using his ring intelligence and his experience at the championship level. He brought that to the table. Uh, he answered a lot of questions. A lot of people said, what would he do against the elite 175? Badu Jack is an elite 175. For you people out there to say that he is not an elite, you don't know boxing. You don't know shit about boxing. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Badu Jack, when he's on, he's on. And I'm going to be honest, early in the round, I think he was second guessing himself because remember, he has been knocked out before. And Adonis Stevenson has been all week publicized, powered. If that straight left hand lands, if that straight left hand lands, pushed and pushed. And Adonis Stevenson does a good job in interviews to reiterate that message. And when you reiter uh, um, uh, reiterate something over and over and over, it's, it can start to become true. It's almost like alternative facts with your Donald Trumps or your Republican type of people, right? If they keep pushing something out there in a very, very crazy enthusiastic way you'll start believing it you'll start believing it's like a weird magic trick or some shit um but anyways to stay back on topic uh donna stevenson was controlled into action with his jab um you can tell he has that crunk style um uh, you know box but still try to come get you and get that knockout of tommy hearns type of deal um he was very one-dimensional at times i feel like donna stevenson Gets away with a lot of stuff because of his uh, his appearance of being such a big, bulky, muscular guy. And I just really feel that um, if Badu Jack would have used a double jab or triple jab earlier in the fight, started off really fast in round one, knowing that you're the challenger trying to take uh, the belt from the champion in his hometown, in his city. You got the ref against you. He's from Britain. And um, he would not let Badu Jack work in the inside. That's a huge part of his game. That's like one of his best attributes, even him having very long arms. Him using his inside game to rip right hooks, left hooks. I think that could have had a big, big, big difference on the fight um, if if the ref would have let him work, but he didn't. Uh, it was a mid-range mid -range game type of fight up until um, the last four rounds from round 8 to round 12. Uh, I feel like round 12, uh, Badu Jack dominated. Round 11 was a little shaky because of um, Badu Jack got hurt. Round 10, Badu Jack got hurt. And them body shots, the straight left hand was a game changer. Um, I thought Badu Jack was going to just keep assaulting him like he was. He had his nose leaking, had Adonis and Stevenson's nose leaking. Uh, had him second guessing himself in his corner. And his corner had to say, quit looking for the ref to help you. The ref is not going to help you. You have to help yourself in here. And that's what it's all about is having good... Um, constructive criticism in a positive way so your fighter can get back up there and perform efficiently and essentially get the win and that's what he did tonight even though it was a draw I'm so mad how was it a draw how was it a draw and I did not bet on it <laughs> I was pissed man I did not bet on it and it hurt my feelings because that's 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 money just down a drain I could have I mean I didn't bet on the fight but I'm saying like I have a Bovada account and I'm just mad at myself for not at least throwing 50 50 dollars down you feel me uh, i mean that's that equivalents to at least close to a thousand or a thousand something dollars because the draw is usually two thousand one hundred or sometimes one thousand eight hundred eighteen hundred depending uh, plus depending on um 
the disparities of the fight. But in a Badu Jack fight, knowing that he's had like four draws in his career, which is insane to have four draws. I think the ref, I mean the um, judges do have something. I mean, you get to four draws in a matter of what six years or some shit. That's kind of crazy, man. I don't think I ever seen or heard anything like this. It's like, nice. Oh, excuse me. It's a little late. Uh, the 1950s or 1960s type of fights when the Italian mob was running shit and uh, the Irish mob as well. Um, but back on course, man, I feel like it should be a rematch, mandatory rematch. Uh, I want to see Donna Stevenson versus Kovalev because of the build up, because of the height, because of the both of them talking shit. And they don't like each other. But this this fight right here, and even Floyd said it needs to be done over again. Uh, Floyd did a good job of not bashing the fight and talking about all oh, boxing this, boxing that. You know, he, he had a couple jabs here and there, but he mostly said just do it again. And that's what we need to see early. I'll say probably August. You know, let them have a month off. Let their brain rest. Don't go in the gym. Relax. Go on vacation for about a week. Uh, come back home. Relax, relax, relax the mind, body, and soul. Get in tune with your family. Your family spirit heals you just from the inside out. Being around them, uh, getting that zen back, getting that peace back, and getting that hunger back from just letting your body heal. Because when you let your body heal, you're like, yeah, I want to get back in there. You know, you feel young again. You feel good again. You feel vibrant again. And that's what it's all about. It's performing at, you know, the elite stage. And I feel like both fighters did that tonight. Um... I would say if I was the lean of somebody winning, it would have to be Stevenson because it's not like Badu Jack knocked him out or even knocked him down. And then Badu Jack showed that he was hurting many times throughout the fight. So I would still have to edge it out by one point win for Stevenson instead of a draw. That's how I saw it. Uh, Badu Jack still one of my favorite fighters. Um, I think he'll make the proper adjustments, the necessary adjustments. And he'll show his versatility with his hands. When he did that double jab right hook, that's the kryptonite for Stevenson. I finally found out what really, really, you know, rocks his cradle. And that's a temple shot, which most people, you know, temple shots will fuck you up here and here. I mean, it just rocks your core. And I feel like if he mixes it up well, go to the body early, uh, stays consistent. You know what his power feels like now, so you should be able to handle it. Uh, um, in the early rounds and don't let him get a rhythm I feel like whoever starts the fight and, and dominates the fight early usually has the advantage late not always the case but a lot of time they do because you learn your range you learn your timing you get your confidence right you start saying okay I'm gonna dominate this way I'm gonna cut the ring off that way uh, I know how they move like you get to really focus on them now some people say well Badu Jack was doing the same thing which he was that's why he's landing a couple um, um, overhand rights and stuff in between the punches of Adonis Stevenson at times, but it was, still wasn't enough. And I feel like if he would start the jab, double jab, right hook combination, which most people don't throw right hooks in the orthodox stance no more in boxing, but if you bring that old Sugar Ray Robinson type of tool back, you will be very successful, have much success throughout the fight, and end up probably even dropping Adonis Stevenson with something big. So, anyways, you guys tell me what you thought about all the fights tonight. I thought they were amazing. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. And, man, boxing is thriving. Boxing is doing the damn thing. Peace.